How are you today and welcome back to the cat cave so i am today just going to tell you about one of my favorite obsessions um i scrolled across um facebook and i saw all of these ads for webtoon and at first i was kind of reluctant i was like i rather watch than read uh i kind of just decided to pick it up and now i can't put it down i just really like webtoon and i think you guys should too so i'm going to tell you guys my top 10 number 10 which is phase by juki it is magical it has a romance there is a slow spot in the middle there where you're kind of just constantly kept on edge the next one is called suitor armor and that's by purpa also a fairy tale ish kind of story it's more set in the medieval period and um there's fairies and mages and kings and queens and number eight nice to meet you by wish roomness um it's so precious it's a good story it's a um love story and it's just it's beautiful and there's some good laughs in there um it's more of a regular life romance kind of thing number seven is down to earth it's by pookie senpai this one is about an alien girl and a normal boy and they are just the cutest things ever that's all i can say coming in at number six this is a finished story um this one is hard for me to read due to health issues with food um i have gastroparesis so eating is hard um for me typically so unfortunately that's probably why i put it so far down the list but it's beautifully illustrated and it's it's funny and it's beautiful and that is gourmet hound by liama it's got tidbits of information it's got love it's got a tiny bit of fantasy it's cute and there's dogs in it so you know if you love dogs and you love food you're gonna like this number five is mage and demon queen this is a girl love story with kind of a um it's a magical story and it's also kind of set dungeons and dragons kind of world uh, it's just this girl she's a mage she falls in love with a demon queen number four is cursed princess club this is one of the ones that i saw in the ads that actually brought me to webtoon it's funny it's cute it's got fantasy and like a touch of romance uh, the drawing style just am, i'm in love with it number three is ghost wife this one I'm so close to finishing. Ghost Wife number three is by Seiyun and it's a beautiful story about this girl and she <laughs> gets sucked into this world of ghosts pretty much. She's still in her own world but she pretty much is surrounded by ghosts 24-7. There's a twist that I was not expecting that happened uh kind of blew my mind i was like whoa no way i didn't think that that was gonna happen but you know here we are the next one also was one of the ones that brought me to webtoon um it is lore olympus and that is by rachel smith that one is based off of a basic mythology of um greek mythology gods and goddesses it follows the story of uh, Persephone and Hades in more of a new style kind of story so not the whole one where she was kidnapped while she was picking flowers and forced to marry him um so, so much better story trust me she did a really good job the drawing the art chef's kiss beautiful in number one this one is the one that I just finished reading I spent so many coins on this series it is a finished series and i'm so so sad it's done i feel like there could have been so much more could you try again? there is so so much more that they could have finished on 
but I spent so many coins because this is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful story. People, you gotta read it. This one is by Se Seiku. Seiku? It's about this girl who's a vampire. She is coexisting in a world that um, vampires and humans both exist. Humans know the vampires exist. Uh, it's pretty sad, actually. It breaks my heart the way that they are so mean to them. It's it's really beautiful, the artwork. It's fun. Uh, unfortunately, as you get closer to the end, the chapters get shorter. Um, but it's definitely worth the read. So that's all I have for you today. Uh, if you like this video, please press like. Please press subscribe down below. And I will hopefully be back to my normal content next week. Um, and I will see you then. Until then, have a wonderful week. Bye.